that beautiful? You can't fake that. And uh, this was a legit army truck. I just can't believe that a lot of these trucks sold for like a hundred bucks or two hundred bucks. And they're all getting crushed. And my problem with that is there's tons of people looking for that. And that. And that. So I'm going to do what I can to talk to the scrapper guy and see if maybe we can't save some of these parts before these trucks get crushed. I did what I could, folks. Uh, I could, I guess I could have bought all of them, but then I had to haul all of them home and that's not going to get my building built. I can't keep getting sidetracked. Man, I hate to see that happen to these trucks. There's so many good parts here. Wow. Old stuff's coming back to life. Towards the sun up there. Heard that report about him. Maybe not such a bad guy. Gonna help me load my load my uh holy cow. Load my truck up. Got to get that custom jack stand out of there. I got the rear end turned around and in the bed. I'm going to have to just put a strap going from that torque tube over to that spare tire rack so it's not <laughs> taking everyone out going down the highway. Well, we got that custom jack stand out of there.
Well, it's been a long day. I'm glad we got out here early. And uh, I want to thank God for this uh, being on this trailer. It means a lot to me. You know, a lot of people probably look at that. I think it's unimportant, but it is important. And uh, it's not going to be a trailer queen, not going to be a showstopper. But I am going to get it running and driving very well. George told me the only thing that went wrong with this truck was the rear end. And he told me that that rear end was perfect. And that if I bolted it in there and woke it up slowly, this would be a good running and driving truck. And I just had a whole bunch of people tell me that they remember George driving this around as a daily driver for a very long time. Uh, the tags say 90 on it, so it's only been 30 years. <laughs> anyway, glad we got her. Got, got the uh, 56 Chevy Army truck and the 65 Bel Air. I've got titles to all three of them and bills of sale. So a lot of stuff cleared out here. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of bittersweet. Coming out here is the first time I've ever been out here when George wasn't here and uh but we met some cool people we had a really good time met a lot of really cool people today and uh i'm glad we came to this state sale mr griffith you're right i did need to come to that anyway we're gonna get on the road jamie's been more than patient she had a good time i think got her a couple trinkets and uh want to get home i'm tired and uh, missing home. Peace out. Well, folks, we didn't make it far after we left the auction. We were tired. And uh, we went from sweltering hot to where people were crowding under trees to put their chairs and be in the shade. What? To talk to a fellow comrade. What do you mean? Oh, Jamie found a public works worker on duty out here. Anyway, uh, so came out here to have some coffee this morning and met an old guy, real old, named George. They wanted to come to me. And I met another guy that works on those windmills. He hauls them. He hauls the windmills. Those things. Way over there. And he was telling me stories about those things and hauling them. Uh, but this truck is a, it's a people magnet. People just want to lean against it and talk. And I'm so grateful to have this truck. Nobody can possibly know how much it means to me to have this truck. Well, I know. <laughs> Jamie knows and I'm not overdoing it folks I'm gonna put some new shoes on him uh, I'm gonna put some pretty wheels not mag wheels original style wheels and hubcaps and white wall tires what are you gonna do this after the cameo or before the cameo this is getting done before the cameo because this is gonna require very little money I'm not gonna paint it I'm not gonna I'm gonna I am going to make the original AM radio work, all the lights work. I'm going to make it run and drive like a top. But I'm just going to clean it, sand it down, and clear coat it. So do I need to get you an airbrush for Christmas? Get me one. So you can... They get, Jamie's got... Oh, Jamie's oh got... I've been, <laughs> I got COVID-19 hair. Look! <laughs> There's no blonde left. You got an appointment scheduled. Oh You'll be fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> and... Uh, she's a trooper, this though. This is what COVID-19 looks like. <laughs> Shoot. She's a trooper. You had fun, though, at the auction, didn't you? We got you some cute stuff. I did. I want to go put George's saddle pad on Jet. And yeah. even though I'm not a cowgirl, I'm going to drape that rope around the horn, and <laughs> I'm going to ride. Jamie got some cool stuff. When we get home, we're going to show you the little things that we got. Stop it. The, <laughs> the problem was... Yeah, when something came up that we wanted, they would throw a whole bunch of other stuff on the table. And George's old lunch pail came up. We could 
show them the lunch pail now, honey. Can you grab that? Oh. Yeah, look at all this. It's in that ice chest. Oh, it is. It's on the other side, honey. I'm anyway. Buried. No, it's not buried. It's not. Anyway, so uh, George's lunch pail came up, and <laughs> uh, I may have already said this, but anyway, one time we went out there, and George had this old lunch pail and some coveralls on. He came out of the barn, and we were like, George, do you take your lunch pail from the house to the barn when you go out there? And he's like, yeah, well, when man goes to work, he's got to take his lunch pail with him. And I saw George's lunch pail under a table with a pile of stuff and uh, towards the end of the auction they put George's lunch pail on the table and the auctioneer goes oh let's throw some more stuff up there and they threw four electric heaters on the table and I said hold up I said can I just bid on the lunch pail Look, there it is I'm gonna put that in the truck I'm putting the lunch pail in George's lunch pail in George's truck anyway so I finally spoke up I was like hold up can I just bid on the lunch pail so they let me bid on the lunch pail but we got some other stuff that we only wanted one thing and you ended up getting a whole bunch of other stuff but uh, there was a brand new in the box Wankel hey, I'll just show you this stuff anyway yeah I'll just show you this stuff we got to get on the road we got to go have some breakfast peace out folks well folks Jamie and I are getting ready to take off we decided that after all spending all day at the auction yesterday first we roasted for half of the day and then we got rained on I got soaking wet and by the time we got the truck loaded up and left town we decided we'd go straight to a motel and get a good night's sleep it's noon 30 and we're gonna go get some breakfast or brunch and we're gonna stick this on George and let you have a George view of the Columbia River Gorge. I'll put it on the passenger side so you guys can see the beautiful Columbia River. And we're going to get home. Love you, honey. Thank you yeah. for all your help. It was fun. You don't want any? No. All right. Anyway, we've got it. Uh, John Q. Public drove up in this. What year is it? John Q. 82. Public. 82. Short bed, square body, and I never miss an opportunity to share. A, I think it's pretty nice. Squatting on the ground, got steamrollers on the back. GMC. Yeah. It's got the fuel cell. Got her tubbed with with a factory sheet metal back there. Look at the steamrollers. Oh yeah. It's got 11 inches. It's got a Detroit locker in it. But, uh, yeah, t tell me about it. Four, John Q. Public talking about his truck here. Four tens on a, on a, on a Detroit locker, uh, Art Morrison race um, for, the, for the rear um, ladder bars. Um, lowered uh, four yeah. inches in the front. At the ladder bar? Four link? Uh, just a ladder. Oh. And then uh, four inches uh, drop in the front. Yep. Um, mostly, mostly stock, and, and most of the money out of twelve to fifteen thousand dollars went into into uh, the the frame suspension been, and stuff. The frame's been capped all the way. Yeah. It's so rigid it drives like a Corvette. Oh, you boxed the frame. Yes. Oh, cool. Solid steel. Um, 
Just a 350, 375 horse. Um, I can, I can burn. That'll it get it. It doesn't weigh anything. <laughs> yeah, it gets wet. The program. Yeah. yeah. I have to put weight. Yeah, I said when yeah. I do, when I do play around, and I air the tires down. There's 10 pounds in there now. Yeah. And I still have a hell of a time slipping. You got to watch what you're doing to that rear end. I'll just. It'll get crazy. I'm far from being done. I'm a little embarrassed he's doing this right now. No, they, <laughs> the, the kind of people that watch my channel like, like all old trucks, brother, and they like to see works in progress. And I encourage you to keep going because you, you know what are. That is that stray primer with. Uh, we didn't have enough primer, so we poured some silver paint in it. I see it. And then we still decided we didn't have enough, so we poured some black paint in there. <laughs> it's kind of green. It's kind of blue. It's kind of gray. I'm picking. Up, I think I'm picking up the sparkles in the camera. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Nice work, but brother. But it sealed it. And, yeah. Um, it's been fun. Let me tell you guys, it's the it's one of the Well, it sounded I've pretty sweet when you rolled up, brother. It, it runs well, like a Chevy. It's hard. It, I mean, you barely get halfway through the key and it's already started. Yeah. And I just adore Chevys. And this thing right here, it drives like a bat. It just flat gets with Cool. Them. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you I'm do. I'm going to look you guys up then. See yeah, classic you know, truck classic rescue. Truck be on just google Hi. it we got on or go on youtube and and search classic truck rescue we've got probably uh 300 videos or so and wow. yeah no, well you're not on one unless you want to be yeah yeah all right I, I knew he'd warm up to the camera everybody does that i read my truck on me what's your name brother chris Grace. chris you're doing a good job on it well, thank you Hey, we respect all projects, no matter where they're at. I you got to start Chevy, somewhere. I got the Chevy housing, but I, I went and got Dutchman axles. Yeah. Which are 100 times better than stockies. But I look stockies. <laughs> um, and then I got 11. I cut it 11 inches. Yeah. And then put it, but I did put a Detroit locker. On. Well, that's good. I like the way you tucked it. Are these off a fleet side pickup? Yeah, that's what I said. I want a factory the, metal. I kept yeah. the character bumps in it. Yeah, character bumps. I'm, I'm not going to cover yeah. them up. Yeah, I'm not going to cover up the character bumps on mine either. You know, those things are really <laughs> coming into style. Yeah. When it comes to um, keeping all the rust and, uh, and uh, imperfections. I, I, I drive mine every single day. Every single day. Every single day I, I drive it. <laughs> I got to have my fix somehow. Yeah, yeah. All right, brother. Well, we appreciate you sharing I'm your so cool truck with you, us. Man. Hold on, I got to shake hands. I'm, oh, wait, I'm not shaking hands. Yeah, we're all we're all uh, social distancing out here. <laughs> Thanks for sharing with us, bro. Yeah. It's been a long time cleaning gopher out. I kind of feel like it'd be inappropriate for me to unload this truck without recording it. It's late at night, we're home. Uh, we got gopher all unpacked and cleaned out. Uh, but I am unloading George, <laughs> my truck. And Praise God that it is my truck. It looks like a tow truck like that. I had a lot of people ask me, uh, you'd be surprised how many honks we got from 
big rig drivers and thumbs up from people driving home with this tonight but it's late and I got a couple more trips to make so I'm gonna try to uh, my cameras actually I think it's gonna die I think it's gonna die actually but I'm hoping I can uh, get me unloading this truck on film and Annabelle hasn't seen it yet and we stopped by my mom's house and picked her up on the way home but I'm hoping to have it unloaded and uh, parked over there by that one and uh, I think I'm gonna wait till later to unload the rear end but a lot of people thought it was a tow truck uh, what people don't get is and a lot of people didn't understand this is when uh, George was describing this truck to me he said Rick this is one of the best running trucks I've ever had and if you just put that rear end in that truck and put a battery in it and clean the fuel system out it'll run like a top well I'm going to do a little more than that I'm gonna, but I'm not going to uh, this is never going to be a trailer queen it's going to have its scratches and dings and dents and stuff but it's going to it's going to run like a top when I get done with it anyway I'm going to get it unloaded it's late I'm tired uh, we got gopher I know you can't see gopher all emptied out cleaned out I actually cleaned swept his bed because I got a couple more trips to make but let's get this one unloaded folks God is good it's just I can't believe this truck is sitting here <laughs> but but I'm very happy about it all right let's get her unloaded and then I'll see you in the morning when Annabella does her truck inspection on it I'll make sure I clean the back window off over there on the driver's side the slapping Annabella truck inspector general approved sticker on it and uh, this is good it's been a good weekend long and exhausting but very happy praise God Some guests home.
Well, folks, it's time. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that, Annabella? Come on. Okay, come on. I know. From Rainier. All right. He, anyway, we're going to visit with him and answer a couple technical questions that he has. And uh, then, well, heck, before then, I'm going to go ahead and slap one of these puppies on here. Been wanting to do that for a long time. Hey, Terry, can you hold the camera for a sec? Uh, it's all focused and everything. All you got to do is whatever you see in the screen. That's what's going on. You got it. Clean the window real good with lots of chemicals and stuff. <laughs> Brake clean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got to get one of these on there. Long time coming on this one. My viewers don't even know I got it yet. And if we don't get it on there perfect. I know a guy who can get some more. Well, that looks pretty good right there. Got the little bubbles gone. There you go, George. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That looks better already. Yeah, looks like a show truck now. We'll be back. 